Hey guys, welcome to another video of Garden Obsessions. Today, uh, I'm gonna show you a product from Ivy Organics. It's a three-in-one plant guard. It protects against damaging sunburn, insects, and rodents. Um, now this product, it's a white um, paint that you use on your, uh, you can use it on um, roses, fruit, nut trees, ornamental trees, and shrubs. Um, it's an organic product. Uh, it's not harmful to the, to the plant itself or the tree itself, um, but for years and years growing up, um, I seen my grandfather, uncles, uh, use a uh, white latex paint uh, mixed with uh, lime uh, to, protect, to protect against insects and stuff like that, to keep the insects away from the trees. When the, uh, when the bark on the trees uh, get that damaging sunburn and stuff like that, it cracks and it leads to insects getting in there or just uh, um, damaging the tree itself. Um, so this stuff has seven different um, oils in it to protect against insects as well. It's got castor oil, cinnamon oil, clove oil, garlic oil, peppermint oil, rosemary oil, and spearmint oil. So the castor oil is probably the one thing that's gonna deter the rodents one lick of that stuff, and they're definitely not gonna wanna try to eat that or taste it at all. It's just terrible for them. All right, so when you get this product, um, it comes in a uh, one pint container like this. Um, basically, what we're gonna do is just pop it open. Now, when you pop this open, uh, you're gonna get two things in there. This is the uh, the powder, and then you're gonna get a vial of all the uh, the oils in there as well. So what I'm gonna do is, you don't have to make the whole thing. I'm only gonna use half of this. So I'm gonna pour half of this in here. Now I'm fill it about halfway with water. Cause like I said, we're only using half the product. We're not using the whole thing. Now this uh, three-in-one plant guard comes also in three different colors. You can get it in white, brown, or green. Um, white is always gonna be good for fruit trees, orchards, and stuff like that. Um, Cause it also reflects the sun. It's the, it's the color that reflects the sun the most and it keeps that, that sunburn and sun scald. If nobody knows what sun scald is, that happens in the winter. Uh, basically when it's cold and the temperature dramatically rises, it prevents, it, it, it causes sun scald. And so this product will actually prevent that. It'll prevent the cracking of the uh, the bark. So on the trees, the bark is, uh, the bark is actually not a live portion of the plant. That's actually a, a dead portion of the plant. So the under, the underneath of the, uh, the bark is actually a live part of the plant. So you wanna protect that as well. Um, the other thing you can use this for, and what I'm going to use it for later, is when you prune, uh, you do a hard pruning on roses and stuff like that. You leave that that uh, that prune part open, and it's acceptable to ants, uh, beetles, and stuff like that born into the plant. Same thing for fig trees that you can see, like when you prune here. Um, after you prune, it leaves that opening there. You can also cover that up with the uh, with the plant guard, and it'll prevent beetles and stuff like that from going in there. Um, another thing about this product as well. You can also make it into a spray. Um, so what I'm gonna do later is uh, it tell, it gives you directions as well how to make it into a spray. So I'm gonna make it into a spray, put it in a spray bottle, and I'm actually gonna use that to spray the foliage on our roses um, to prevent the, uh, you know, we get two months of those nasty uh, Japanese beetles that come here and just devastate our roses and, and you know, prevents them from blooming and stuff like that. And this will deter some of those uh, insects from, you know, crawling up on the roses and devastating that stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and apply this to the, uh, to the tree here. And all we're gonna use is a simple uh, paintbrush here. You're gonna start at the lowest portion of the tree here. And you can actually smell the oils in there. It's not a bad smell, it's actually, it actually smells pretty good. Um, but to the insects, like I said, and the rodents and stuff like that, it's not gonna be that great and convenient for them. Now, some for some of your younger trees, you're gonna want to you're gonna want to put uh, two or more more coats on it. Um, they still have like a waxy, uh, uh, you know, um, bark on there, so it, it it makes it not harder for it to apply. But you know, you might want to provide two or three layers of it just to get it to really really get on there and stick on there. Now, this fig tree that I have is actually a black mission fig that I found. I've always wanted a fig tree. I finally got one, and uh, I. 
took this as a perfect opportunity to uh, use this product to prevent uh, to protect my investment basically um, this is a fig that I've always wanted and luckily for me at our local nursery you know they had one there and the uh, the gentleman that runs the nursery there was kind enough to uh, explain some information about how he grows them this was actually a cutting about a year ago so uh, this is how big it actually gets and um, I'm just happy to have it and excited to get it now this this uh, this whole can here um, it makes enough to cover about 12 young trees so it's more than enough um, product to use if you have plenty of fruit trees and stuff like that you're trying to protect for the uh, the winter the summer whatever the case is um, this product like I said uh, I'm, I'm using it um, because I believe uh, in the product and uh, I've seen it used before by friends and stuff like that and they've actually provided uh, awesome results um, in you know different things they use it for I've seen so the person who actually made this is uh, Charles Malky uh, he's a biologist and plant expert and a very knowledgeable person we if you haven't seen his channel go ahead and check out his channel he's got a lot of interesting and cool plants and you know what he does with it he also uses it in uh, grafting plants as well um, I've seen it use it numerous times in his videos so uh, we're gonna finish this tree up real quick and then we'll come back and talk about it, talk about it some more all right guys so as you can see we got the whole tree painted already um, you might be asking why the whole tree um, so in the environment that we live in um, it's humid it rains a lot um, then it gets sunny all of a sudden um, so in order to prevent that uh, that that rainwater from basically baking our tree and the Sun just hitting that and you know creating a boiling effect and basically sun burning our tree and stuff like that we applied it to the whole tree now those of you in sunnier climates and drier climates um, don't need to use um, the whole uh, don't need to paint the whole tree basically uh, you might just want to paint the parts that are exposed to the Sun you know anything facing towards the south or anything like that um, if you got a lot more foliage on top you just might want to paint the bottom of it as well like I said this is a young tree um, the foliage is, that does come out is not going to come out fully it's not going to be a complete canopy of a tree so a lot of it will actually be exposed where we're going to put it in the garden so we want to go ahead and protect the whole tree um, with the rain out here we get a lot of insects a lot of ants and stuff like that we want to protect it the best that we can and uh, this product will definitely do that um, I'm very happy with the results very happy with the the, the product it, it, like I said um, it's very pleasant to work with it's not like latex paint a lot of people use latex paint it's not safe for the environment not safe for the tree um, if you're eating fruit from your tree if you're eating vegetables something like that it's not good for your plants it's not good for your garden um, so this product like I said it's organic definitely worth it if you're doing this to your trees whitewashing them um, as, as the old saying is is whitewashing your trees don't use the latex paint um, invest in this it's a organic product it works um, I've seen it numerous times friends have used it all the time and uh, you know they, they get great results all right guys so before I let you go um, you might be asking where can I get this product um, so you can get this product um, at your favorite garden center if they're not carrying it there definitely let them know they need to carry that stuff there um, I've, I've actually ordered mine on Amazon Home Depot sells it Ace Hardware um, nurseries around the uh, I know the Los Angeles area is where uh, Charles Malky is actually located at um, again Charles uh, from Ivy Organics very knowledgeable um, he's got over 20 years in planting and horticulture um, the reason I believe so much in him is uh, Charles has a, a, a passion for gardening and plants that I see in very little people and I truly truly believe that his passion leads to a great product and it's gonna work the way he intended to work um, if you have any questions you can definitely find them on Instagram uh, YouTube send them a message let him know if you have questions about the product I know he'll be more than glad to answer them um, I had questions about it when I ordered it and he answered everything I needed all right guys again very satisfied with the product um, Ivy Organics, 3 one Plant Guard. Uh, definitely check it out. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. If you haven't given us a like, please give us a like because it definitely helps. And we'll see you guys in the next video.